What's up guys? We're going to talk today about the Mr. Olympia. I'm going to do my personal top five. I also want to touch base on my thoughts about Kai and maybe we'll do some guys that can potentially break like the top six. This Olympia, I think, just might be the most stacked Olympia maybe ever or that I've been aware of. Even though Kai's not competing, we got like all these guys that are like Justin and Rolly's looking insane and then big rammy if he can get his conditioning down it's like all these guys that within the top six it's gonna be super tight but let's just jump into my personal top five um so number five i'm gonna put actually kevin the roney first of all let's get some things straight politics are in bodybuilding guys you know and kevin with his name he's gonna place probably a little bit better than he should um if he doesn't you know what i mean just for just because of his name um, in politics and so forth. So I feel like he's going to bring a good physique. I feel like he's going to bring a good package. Um, the dude is arguably has the best genetics like ever, even better than Phil Heath, because supposedly he just tra trained, what, like three or four months? I don't know the exact specifics, but I think he trained three or four months of the year, and he didn't really have a true off-season. He was just not doing anything, not training, and then he would train. So that was back then. But, uh, you know, he knows his body. Obviously, the dude's, what, 52 years old. Um, I'm thinking he's going to break the top five. I'm going to put him on number five. Number four, I'm going to put Cedric. Now, Cedric, he kind of amazed a lot of people, and he did really good against Kai Green in the Arnold earlier this year. Um, you know, if most of you guys know, if you don't, Kai's my boy. I love Kai. He's been my main inspiration for bodybuilding. Um... But, you know, some people argued Cedric should have won and beat Kai in the Arnold earlier this year. Um, I had Kai winning, um, but Cedric, regardless, looked amazing. He looked really good, and he stood, you know, pretty much toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kai. So, I'm going to put Cedric at four. He's very aesthetic. He's probably the second most aesthetic guy on that stage overall, um, which leads us to number three. The most aesthetic guy is going to be Sean Roden. Now, Sean's been, I, I believe, in the top four. Um, like He's been dwindling like three to four like the last four years. So, Sean hasn't... I haven't seen too many pictures of Sean. I haven't really kept up with Sean. Um, I feel like he's going to do a good job. And I feel like he's going to bring a great package. I mean, he, he stays around the same year after year. A few years ago, the main thing he was... Uh, his issue was was uh, his back, bringing up his back, and just putting on more size. The dude's very aesthetic. He's the most aesthetic guy on that stage. But uh, I'm going to put Sean at number three. I expect him to do well um, like he always does. He's always at that three to four spot. My number two is going to be, okay, this is going to be, no, first of all, first of all, one and two are going to be the same as last year. They're, I'm just going to flip-flop them. I'm going to put Phil as number two. Phil Heath, I think they're gonna, there's going to be some sort of upset, if you will, and I feel like Phil will finally lose his number one spot. And it's hard to tell, guys. It's so hard to tell. With these predictions, you can only, you know, you can be way on, you can be way on point, or you can be way off. But I feel like Dexter, you know, he did good. He went toe to toe with Phil last year. You know, Kai's gone toe to toe with Phil. Um, just nobody's been able to dethrone the king you know what i mean but i feel like dexter he's actually because dexter's pretty old too i don't know how old he i think he's what 48 47 he's up there he's in his mid to late 40s and the dude just keeps looking better as he gets older he looks better it's insane but i heard uh dexter is planning something big this year and he's looking you know he's looking better every year so i think he will actually do what hasn't been done and he's going to dethrone Phil. So Phil's going to be number two and obviously with that said I feel like the Mr. Olympia for this year 2016 is going to be Dexter Jackson um, and that's just you know a lot of people you know one and two is I think most people can agree upon is going to be Dexter Phil Phil Dexter. It's going to be one of the two. Um, like I said guys this Olympia is just so stacked like we got Justin Compton I think he's going to do really well. Some people have him at like three or four, which I'm sure he could, like, again, if he comes in condition, if he, like, 
because um, he, he was way off conditioning on the at the Arnold. But if he comes in condition, he can break the top. You know, he could be four or five. I feel uh, maybe even three. Who knows? You know, Rami, if he comes in condition, like he's never been shredded. The dude's always so much fucking muscle, but he just needs to come in shredded. He can you know make the top three. All these guys, like all these wild cards, uh, Roly Winkler. He can, you know, he looks and he's just freaky. Again, the dude can break, you know, he can be top five. Um, I read that Victor is looking his best ever. He can make the top five. There's so many what ifs. If, you know, somebody comes on, if somebody comes off, it's all about how you peak. But that's going to be my top five, guys. Drop your top five below. Let me know your guys' thoughts. I think this Olympia will be really fun to watch. I'm definitely going to watch it. Appreciate the support as always. Be sure to check out our websites. I'm going to post those up as always. And, uh... I'll see you guys in the next video.